What's the motherfucking deal, South Nation? It's your boy, Ed Honcho, and this is South Sports. If you're not familiar with South Sports, South Sports is a Houston, Texas homer channel. So we're talking all sports, but only Houston. But let's just jump in it to win it. We are continuing to know your Texan series, and this is video number 49 in that series where we're talking about each and every player on the roster. Uh, some of them have been left, and some of them are going to be some new ones by the time we get it done. But, hey, we're going to speak on the new ones, too. they just going to have to go at the end. But... Let's talk about one of the newer additions, not the newest edition, one of the newer additions in this offseason, uh, a free agent, C.O. Moore, number 54. Uh, let's just put a little bit of flavor on Like I say, if you're not sure what the Know Your Texan series is, you can go all the way back to the very beginning where we talked about number one or actually number two, Corey Carter, and we're working our way all the way down to the very end of the roster. We're going to put so some love to so a little bit of sauce to every player on the roster who's trying to help the Texans become a Super Bowl champion. So we're just showing some love back. So like I say, something you want to drop in the comment section below, please drop that sauce. Sauce Nation, y'all already know what it is. If you've been an ingredient, this ain't nothing new to you. But if you're an extra fresh ingredient, you don't know how it works, man, subscribe. Drop your flavor in the comments. This is a this is an exchange of ideas, an exchange of thoughts. So it's not just about me hearing me speak. I like to hear what y'all say too. But let's blast on CO more. Let's talk about it. Uh, inside linebacker, 6'1", 245 guy, played college ball at Connecticut. Uh, born <clears throat> May 2nd, 1990. So not quite lucky enough to be an 80s baby, but he was on the brink. He tried to. So, you know, we, we, we may give him a pass, but probably not. You know what I'm saying? You class of the 90s. Anyway, with that being said, but originally born in Monrovia, Liberia. Uh, ended up moving to the United States, New Haven, Connecticut, uh, where he played college ball, like I said, at Connecticut. Uh, had 274 tackles, 16 sacks, and four INTs in college, which is a very solid resume. Was a all-Big Ten first-teamer. Came out of third round in the 2013 NFL draft drafted by the Raiders. Ran a 4-6-40, which is, which is very nice speed for a, a linebacker. Uh, <clears throat> so far in his his professional career, you know, he's hopped around a little bit. Uh, like I say, started with the Raiders, I think, played some in Arizona. I want to say somebody else. And now, you know, he's with the Texans, hopefully being able to make a contribution because we won, like I say, the best for our team. And if the Texans felt like he was a, a, a valuable addition, then hopefully that he's out there contributing and doing the things that need to be done. But professionally, he's had 218 tackles, seven and a half sacks, two passes defense, and four forced fumbles, which is also not bad for a guy who is what a lot of people may label uh, a journeyman. <coughs> Oh, excuse me, pardon me, that was intense. But yes, I'm not editing out. You're gonna get it all. Like I say, this is this is raw sauce. The sauce is fresh. Ain't no ain't no chopping that out. Anyway, we add ingredients. We don't take ingredients from the sauce. And with that being said, like I say, uh, if you've been following the series, you know it's a little bit longer. But I'm gonna actually speed it up because, like I say, with all these videos, and I know I'm flooding your timeline when you're getting all these notifications. So uh, a lot of y'all have been committed to watching each and every one of these, and so I'm not gonna drain it out with my usual, you know, stretching it out. Uh, getting closer to the season, so I'm getting more anxious and, and, you know, like I say, want to freshen up the flavor and change some things up, and you guys let me know how you like it. But with that being said, you already know i got to promote the shirt. Go to SouthSports.com. Go get the shirt. Go to the shop. Actually, you can get the shirt. There's a hat. There's a bunch of stuff. Go to the shop. Check it out. There's a lot of a lot of fresh, saucy gear. You can go to SouthSports.com. I appreciate everybody who's went and got one already. You can check all the socials right there. South Sports HTX on uh, Twitter. You can catch me at South Sports on the Facebook. Please go help me get to 100 likes on the Facebook. I'm trying to do these 100 videos. I'd appreciate getting to 100 likes on that. Catch me at Honcho Saucy if you want to run a game. Add me on Xbox. I, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you can run whatever. You know what I'm saying? If I got the game, I'll run it with you. It ain't got to just necessarily be sports. It could be whatever you like. And you can catch me on Instagram at the Real Ed Honcho. With that being said, everybody who's been showing love to the sauce, everybody who's been adding ingredients to the sauce, making the freshness just extra flavorful and delicious, I appreciate it, man. Keep that coming. The season's right around the corner. I promise we're going to turn it up. I got some extra, extra good flavor coming for y'all. We're going to do it a little bit of different. We're going to step it up a notch. We're going to say to everybody who's been riding with the sauce, everybody been riding with the flavor. Like I said, I appreciate you. Thank you. You know what it is. Deuce up. I'm out. Sauce Nation, y'all be cool like only y'all know how to be cool. I'm going to catch you on the next one.